This is the new Audi RS7 in dark green. Yes, it's a car which can sit for people, but it's also a car which can do 0 to 100 in just about 4 seconds and comes with a 560 horsepower engine. So, what is this car all about? How the interiors and does it look as stylish on the inside as it does on the outside? Let's find that out on the show today. Well, so in today's video review, I won't be talking about practicality or mother-in-law references or my height for references 510 because this car is all about performance. But uh, before starting off the performance and driving bits, let me tell you that the cabin of the RS7 is just like any other Audi. And what I mean by that is that it is a very special cabin. It has top quality material that really does feel very luxurious and very opulent. And it also feels very sporty at the same time. And uh, there isn't a single item on this cabin which uh, I don't like. The dials look really crisp and sharp and everything really has a nice and tactile feel. In fact, uh, this is a car which you can pass on to the next generation and even they will not complain about the quality of uh, materials used and this car's cabin will really last you a very long time. It really is 5 star in terms of overall quality as well as ambience. Well, so the RS7 gets a 4-litre V8 engine which makes over 550 bhp, 0 to 100 comes up in a shade under 4 seconds and all that power is sent to all 4 wheels via an 8-speed Tiptronic gearbox. So in terms of performance, this car really is phenomenal. Well, but the best part about the RS7 is that you can use it as an everyday car. In fact, it is a great sleeper car because it doesn't really shout out performance when you have a look on the outside. It looks like a regular version of an Audi car and uh, it's only when you really smash that extra pedal hard and put this uh, drive select mode in dynamic that you will realize that this car's performance is truly as good as a rocket ship. Well, power delivery is available from a very low RPM. It is instant power delivery. And uh, what I mean by that is that uh, this car really is a rocket in terms of uh, overall performance. You have to be very, very careful with your right leg and you really have to be careful while you flex that uh, right leg because before you know it, this car will be doing illegal speeds. In fact, it will be doing illegal speeds in under four seconds. Well, what you don't have to be very careful about is visibility because visibility all across is absolutely excellent. You get excellent visibility from the back window, visibility from uh, the side view mirrors is also very good. And even though the A pillar here is pretty chunky, you can easily look around it. It is uh, decent in terms of overall visibility. So yes, uh, if you are concerned about driving this car too many times in the city, visibility is really taken care of. Now, there's also a performance version of this car which is available on sale and uh, that car comes with ceramic brakes as an option and you also get an extra 50 odd bhp of power so that car delivers about 600 bhp but really you need about 550 bhp this is all the power that you'll ever truly need you also get an over boost mode where the torque figures are increased from the regular 700 nm to 750 nm and how will you know that the torque is increased by simply having a look at the dials because if you smash this sector pedal hard and the dials turn red, then uh, that over boost function is on. So that's something that uh, you will realize that uh, is on. You get extra bit of torque when you really smash that extra pedal hard. Well, so let's say that you're not in the mood to just uh, be traveling around the city and you really want to uh, be driving this car around sharply. All you do is simply select the drive select feature over here and turn it on to dynamic. And that adds a lot of weight onto the steering wheel. The suspension also tunes up and the engine and gearbox also become a lot more sportier but uh, you also get a lot of sound and bang from the exhaust note on the outside because this car's exhaust is something phenomenal and it is really something uh, to be heard to be believed and I apologize if I'm using the word phenomenal and great and using a lot of superlatives in terms of uh, describing the RS7 it truly is a class act and uh, I will of course uh, sound like I am doing a very biased review but that's the way this car is it really is very good and deserves a 5 out of 5 kind of rating. Well, so in terms of overall stability, this car's suspension comes with uh, air suspension, remember, and the stability of the RS7 is truly phenomenal. It drives like a tank on the road. It really does grab the uh, surface like a leash, and special mention has to be made about the tires. They are really very good in terms of the grip levels, and uh, it's a car which can really munch up the miles without any issues. But you will have to uh, keep an eye out for that fuel efficiency because at the moment I'm getting a fuel efficiency figure of about 5 kmpl which still is pretty low. But then remember this car can shatter a lot of supercar performance records so uh, it is something that you will have to deal with. But if you can afford a car like this I'm sure you can also afford the fuel efficiency bills. 
So how is the RS7 as a family car? Well, I won't be jumping into the back seat and telling you my height and uh, the headroom and all. But I have to say that sitting four inside this cabin should not be a problem. There is a huge uh, hump in the floor panel at the back, but that's because it is a quattro car and uh, sends its power to all four wheels. So that's something that you can't uh, negotiate with. But as a four-seater, it is a pretty good car and it should be quite enough to accommodate uh, your uh, family and uh, it should be a good fun car to go out on that uh, long weekend trip and simply have the kids bolting around the seats like this every now and then because this car's performance really is, as I said, like a rocket ship. Now, if you are someone who does take his car out for that occasional uh, trip to the racetrack, then you will really enjoy the RS7. Well, so even though the uh, steering wheel is a nicely uh, set up unit in terms of its highway stability as well as its feedback it is pretty light to use around town especially if you use the steering wheel in its comfort setting it is a light steering wheel and that's something which a lot of Audi buyers really like about Audi cars because they can drive these cars quite easily without tiring themselves or tiring out their biceps in the city so that's something which is uh, pretty uh, good about this car also what you will appreciate is the fact that the uh, suspension setup really is very good now it is slightly on the firmer side even in its uh, comfort setting but that said it never feels uh, uncomfortable in the city you can easily negotiate those badly faster roads and those rumble strips in this car and uh, as speeds increase the suspension really does seem to uh, become even better than it already is and it is a car as I just said that you can use on a daily basis in the city it's a car which will simply put a smile on your face or maybe your shopper's face if you are someone who prefers the back seat but of course if you're driving a car like this or buying a car like this you should be sitting here rather than in the back seat well this car really does munch up the miles and the gearbox is a phenomenal unit it's an eight speed trip trotting gearbox which means that performance is absolutely brilliant and there's absolutely no lag when you uh, use it even in the manual setting all you need to do is simply use these paddle shifters over here and uh, both upshifts and downshifts are really crisp and very creamy and if you are using it in the automatic version you can't really tell when the gears are shifting because uh, this car's gearbox as I just said is a nice crisp and very smooth unit. Well so overall what is my summary report of the RS7? If you are lucky enough to have this kind of cash lying around and you want a car which uh, you can take the entire family out in and have some fun and of course uh, have your kids in the back seat and uh, ask them to just strap up and do all these bolting exercises because uh, this car really will bolt you in your seats like this when you rev it up hard. Uh, it is a fun car for the entire family and it's a car which you should definitely consider because it also has a very big boot and a very usable boot and not only that it's a very good car for your daily routine office trips and if you are a CEO or a chairman of a big company then you should definitely go ahead and check out the RS7 it is truly a desirable package. Well, if you have young kids at home and you don't want to spend too much cash on that adventure park trip, then you can always ask them to sit inside this car, put it in its uh, dynamic setting and simply accelerate hard all the time because those kids will really be bolting down in their seats and they'll have a laugh on their faces all day long. This really is a phenomenal car for sheer performance.